Hi, Courtney here for the next three things I had on my list to simplify your life. And previously I talked about three things from simple meals to simple wardrobe to simple schedule. So one thing about my wardrobe is I have things that are comfortable. I don't necessarily love this shirt. It's three years old, but I'm about to work out. So with my simple schedule, what I do is I kept the clothes that were comfortable to me. I've got on a pair of old sweats, I've got on an old t-shirt and a pair of tennis shoes. As far as my outfits go, when I go out, I care more about what I look like, but when I'm home, I care mostly about comfort and I wanna work look decent enough that my husband doesn't think I look disgusting. <laughs> so, but I keep it simple. And when I talked about a simple schedule, um, I talked about, you know, doing things, planning things. So one thing I will do is on a, probably an old piece of paper, like I have a note here, a lot of times I'll use envelopes and things like that just to not use up new paper and to make use of what we have. I'll make a little list of all the things I want to do. Here I had to do the dye web, which is my medical charting, laundry dishes, bed, Swiffer vacuum, feed the animals, make a dinner plan, and go down to our Airbnb and pick up more laundry. So I'll assign like a time limit to each one of those. So like I might say that I've already made the bed, but let's say I want to do the dishes. I might give myself 10 minutes in the kitchen and set the timer. So I just want to kind of reiterate a few more things I thought about when I left that. So like I have maybe seven things on this list. I'll give each of them a time limit, add it up and know that I'm giving myself, for instance, two hours to finish everything on this list. If something doesn't get done, it'll just have to wait till tomorrow. I make sure to get the most important things done first and oftentimes the things I like the least um, because then they're kind of out of the way and it feels a little easier. Going on with that, my fourth one or, or the first one for this video is to have a simple workout and the best workout is the one you will do. Now, I have been trying to do some HIIT training again, but Fortunately, with the weather milder like it is right now in fall, I'm able to breathe a little better. So I'm going to go in there probably tonight and do a walking workout. I kind of wanted to do a HIIT workout, but I'm just not feeling it. My lungs are a little, you can hear I'm just a little raspy today. And sometimes the HIIT workouts make me worse. So tomorrow I don't have as much to do. I'll probably get a HIIT work in tomorrow. I'll make myself a note to try to get two or three in this week. So my main thing that I do with my working out is I don't allow myself to go more than 48 hours without doing anything. Now that might be a 10 minute HIIT workout, five minutes of stretching. I generally will not do less than 15 minutes. I figure I can always find 15 minutes whether it's just stretching or walking. I try usually to do at least 30 minutes a day of exercise at least five days a week, and it's not always hard stuff. I don't really do exercise for weight loss because I don't really believe that exercise is the main component to weight loss. I think nutrition is the most important thing. I am a healthy weight. I do exercise for muscle tone, strength, to help with my stress, to keep me in shape, yes, but it just makes me feel better. The next one is to have a simple number two budget and bill pay. So I have all of our bills on the computer, on our banking, and they are automatically deducted. There are some that come in yearly or twice a year, and I will go in and pay those. I do keep a few checks and envelopes, but for the most part, everything monthly is automated. I've got one more thing I need to automate, and that's our electric bill. They make that one a little hurt harder <laughs> than it needs to be. But the main thing is you wanna avoid late fees and missing things. One thing I have found with the bills is the bills still come. I still get an email or I get a paper bill and it tells me how much the bill is gonna be so that I can catch it if there was anything wrong before it was deducted. And that makes it so much easier. I have never had a problem. On the credit cards, I don't do this. I like to keep an eye on them and sometimes I like to pay them early. I only have, we have a couple of credit cards. Um, but they get paid every month. We use them for points. I didn't use credit cards for years. So the way I do things now, and again, the best way to budget is the way that you'll do it. The simplest way, if I'm working with people who have never budgeted when I voluntarily help people is to write down all of your bills and estimate your expenses every month and plan for that. So if you have, back when I was a single mom, I had $2,500 a month approximately 
The bills were 2,200, I saved 300. That included, the bills included food and things like that. So I just knew that these are the bills, they're this much, I have this much left for food and I need to save this much. I do a top-down budget where the savings goes in first, I know how much we have to spend and I know how much the bills are. It doesn't matter if it's on paper or a spreadsheet, the most important thing is that you have a basic budget and that you're not paying late fees and missing things. Simplify, simplify, simplify. The next one is to simplify your beauty and hair routine. I do not look like the person who should be giving this <laughs> information right now, but I have a simple beauty routine and that is I wash with soap and water. I am 51 years old, almost 52. So, you know, I'm not perfect. I choose not to do any kind of fillers, plastic surgery, or injections of any kind, or Botox. That is a personal choice. Do not care if you do it. Absolutely your own choice. I have a lot of friends and family who do those things. For me, it's just too hard. The upkeep, I do not want to have to go to the salon or the clinic or wherever all the time. I just don't care enough. I feel strongly that the most important thing we can do to stay youthful is what we eat and how we take care of ourselves. So I avoid alcohol. On the rare occasion, I might have a glass of wine or a drink, but it's very rare. I don't do drugs. Um, I do take supplements. I, um, within reason, <laughs> um, I drink water. I eat vegetables, fruits, whole grains. Wash my face with soap and water two to three times a day. I wear makeup that has a sunscreen in it. All my makeup comes from the grocery store or Walmart. That is another thing. Almost all my beauty care comes from the store, the grocery store type, Walmart type store, Target. I do not, except for the exception of one item, Estee Lauder Night Repair, not sponsored clearly. Um, I buy one bottle a year for $70 and I use it sporadically, especially at times when I have something going on because it does kind of tend to plump you up a little bit for the time being. Right now I'm using uh, L'Oreal Revitalift three times a week with retinol in it to help. But other than that, I'm just not, I don't want to pay for things that you have to pay a lot of money to keep up with. And that's how marketing gets you. So for my nails, you can see they are very fancy. I cut them and I file them. Every once in a while, I go and have a manicure and I have them trim my nails in cuticles maybe three to four times a year. And on my feet, I only get pedicures on special occasions now. Um, generally, I will just, take off my nail polish, cut my nails, file my nails, push back my cuticles, scrub my feet in the bathtub with a scrubby uh, wash, usually that's given, been given to me as a gift. And then I will paint my nails with a Walmart brand nail polish. I like the Sally Hansen Quick Dry. And I watched a three minute YouTube video on how to do your own toenails and it helped immensely. It's definitely well enough that I can go in public with them. I could do them myself for a wedding even. I'm not great at it, but if you do them a couple of days ahead of time and you let the shower kind of get off any extra that you got on your toes, it will wear it off. So yeah, that's what I do. On my hair, I quit dyeing my hair during the pandemic and I just went natural. Here, I'll let you see. So this is my natural hair. It's just kind of this blondish, darkish, light brown, dark blonde, light brown mushroom color. And I just completely quit. I don't put any, I don't hardly use any products. I use over-the-counter hairspray. I use the, lately I've been using the Native brand shampoo and conditioner that I pick up at Walmart or Target. Um, it's about, I think, seven or eight dollars a bottle. It's not the cheapest. It's not the most expensive. And that's kind of my philosophy in life. What is the most expensive? What is the cheapest? Can I find something in the middle that will give me the same results that I would get with something better? And usually these days you can. So when I was building my house, I just said, I want something to step up. I didn't try to get something that was super fancy, even though we could afford it because just a little bit more made me really happy and I'm super content with my house, more content than I've ever been, especially now because I can afford it. I didn't overbuild or overspend and it uncomplicated my life because we built a lot less than we could afford, which allowed us to pay the house off early, pay our debts 
and become financially independent or hit a very good milestone. So many of the habits I talk about on my channel have helped us become financially independent where we could leave our jobs today and survive, but there are some things that we just don't want to do. So we choose to keep working and we will be working for the next a few years on our own businesses, but we are scaling way back in the next six months. So I'm excited to share all the tips and tricks that we use as frugal minimalists to have a happy, joyful life that we feel extremely content with. I hope this has been helpful. Appreciate you being here. Bye-bye.